What's going on everyone? It is Tater here and it's time for my Be A GM Mode Commentary. Alright, let's get this party started. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my microphone. I should have done this earlier. Uh, oh, Alright, so. Uh, I want to get this up to the trade deadline with this video here. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to give... Uh, Tuka Rask three games instead of two now, just to get it gone faster and have Tuka as their starter. So, I apologize for not posting in a few days and for like a couple weeks on for my Call of Duty videos. Um, I've just been, ho oh, ho, big back-to-back -back win with a shutout against the Colorado Avalanche. Attaboy Tuka. And another shutout against Buffalo. Alright, Tuka. So that's three. All right, sir. Uh, yeah, I've been watching a ton of hockey when I can, when I'm not at work and all that. I am having a great time. Oh wow, eight to seven loss against Buffalo. They answered the bell. Oof. So yeah, uh, back to the hockey, NHL, real hockey at least. Um. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun watching any games. I'm even having fun watching game teams that I hate due to rivalries and just not liking a team. Even though more often than not there's a team they're playing that I like to watch or will enjoy watching the game. Oh, Tuka. Tuka, Tuka, Tuka. So Tuka has one more loss in his, under his belt before we give him out of the net. Uh, let's just go here. But yeah. I don't plan on doing any trades right now in this episode. I don't want to have it seem like I'm doing an episode or a trade every episode. So, get trade deadline, go update our block and our scouting after this, and let's just go from there. Hopefully, you guys can maybe give me some input on who I should go after to make a playoff push or some decent prospects. Alright, time to put Turco in that and replace it Tuka. Hopefully we won't have any audio interference from my TV. As someone mentioned last video, I basically got my TV on like volume number two to eliminate that chance. But I don't have my microphone set properly, so it might be a little odd. I'm still trying to figure out how to arrange my room and all that better for commentary. Ouch, a one nothing loss against Florida. Come on, team. I know we need Tuka in, so I'm going to quickly check out Turco's stats here. He's 3-6 and... three and six so I want to get him around at least ten games so we won't give Tuka the net right away I think we'll do it after the deadline we will have Tuka play most of the games if not all of them so here we go let's go up to Montreal and Zidane Chara leading our team in playing minutes can't have you doing that Come on, we gotta beat Carolina. Oh, come on. So, I was wondering what you guys want to see from me in terms of this GM mode commentary and my channel. I want to join a Xbox Live. Oh, another tough loss. Uh, ooh, actually we'll get past the trade deadline since this video is only like five minutes long right now uh... back to what i was just saying though i wanna know what you guys wanna see from my channel my uh... other games that you guys might request i'm playing gta 4 a lot to get into the hype of gta 5 that's coming out in the spring which i am totally gonna get that game is going to be amazing uh, let's just go ahead and say we got four uh, defense. Alright, so players on the block. Who should we put on the block? 
I'm thinking about putting... Actually, I don't even know who I want to put on the block. Let's see what Lucic can get us at trade deadline, just to see. I'm not... I love having, like, power forwards and, like, those power essence game type players, if that made any sense to you guys whatsoever. I love having them on my team, but I love having my top two lines as goal scorers and playmakers. We will also throw Horden on our trade block just to see what we could get. Alright, so we're good. Commit trade block. Uh, and then quickly go to scouting assignments. As I always forget to do those, but hopefully we won't have a top end first round pick to have to worry too much about. Okay, so far it's... No. Definitely gonna try and keep it Ooh, Nathan McKinnon. Oh, where is Jonathan Druin? Oh, he might not be in this roster update. Damn it. Uh, what league is he in? He's not in WHL. Uh, let's, yeah, let's just go for a month in the WHL. I don't even remember if we scouted here, but let's go ahead and do it anyways. <clears throat> Sorry about this boys, my voice isn't clear right now. It's just having one of those scratchy days. Ah full trade negotiations, here we go. Let's see here. This is it for trades for the season, let's see. Let's just see who wants Milan Lucic here. Milan Lucic, where are you? Where, where, where are you? Did I pass you? There's no way his trade value is that low. Let's just go left wingers. There we go, I did pass him. Buffalo, Calgary, Calgary. So, almost every team wants Lucic. Let's see if we could... Oh, no, it would be filthy if we could do a cold truck for Lucic. That would just be unreal right there. But, I'm not going to do that. Ooh. Uh, forwards here. I love Michael Grabner in this game. His skating is so good. Yeah, 94 speed. And his shot's not even that bad as well. He's only 81 overall. Let's see if we can get like a first. Grabner and a first for Lucic. I really want more. I want more. Let's go skaters giving away. Uh, no prospect really. Let's just go ahead and keep going along here. Ooh. The, the Rangers have defense that I kind of like in McDonough, Del Zotto, and Mark Stahl here. Let's see who has the better potential. It's definitely McDonough. And he's a top four. Let's try and work around this. Let's go forwards. Let's try and get a score for. to replace our top six. Or, ah, the Zuccarello. Actually, yeah, let's go for Zuccarello. I believe his skating and shot's not too bad. Skating's 87. Let's just see if there's someone else we can snag for our forwards. Uh -huh. No one really outside the top three for them. Derek Stepan wouldn't be too bad, but he's got to resign. Let's check out potential wise. Uh -huh. Potential. So Carl Hagelin, Chris Kreider, Stepan Zuccarello. Keep it with Zuccarello. Let's go defense. Who should we give up on the blue line? Kind of want to give up a Seidenberg just to make it more realistic. However, he's only on two year and boy trucks down there. Let's just go ahead and say Seidenberg. No. 
know. I want to be able to go through. See if they. Or no, they're probably too close to the cap, or. What am I doing here? Ah, uh, let's go. Let's just quickly check, try and figure out what's going on here without having to waste one of our trading claws. What the fuck? We've done all right. I don't think you have. Okay. Well, and in other words, New York, go screw yourself. I'm not gonna just dismantle my team to get Ryan McDonough. Now they want to call back. Let's see. Campbell for a third. Let's go first and we'll throw in our third. Uh, take trading serious. Yeah, I didn't think they would go for that. Let's quickly. I really want to get another defender. But I don't know exactly who. Like, I can think of guys like Edler and Hamus that I would love to get on my team. But it just doesn't make sense for us or anyone else really to trade up those type of defensemen. Another demon I'd love to have is Petrangelo. Look at his trade value there. He's a freaking monster. And he's already a top two defenseman. Oh, jeez, Murphy. I'm not going to even bother for that. Where's Shattenkirk? I know Shattenkirk's not a bad D-man here. Ah, I really don't know. You know what? Let's just not even try for it right now. Let's just see what they offer us. I feel confident in our, in our team right now to make a strong playoff push. I just think we still need that one extra edge or a person to put us over the edge for the Stanley Cup. However, it's all going to be hopefully good here. Woohoo. The Devils acquired Dustin Panner from Merrick Sidlicky. I honestly wouldn't be too... Actually, what am I saying? I would love that trade. I'm not a big fan of Zidlicky or Zidlichy, however you want to pronounce his name year after year. He changes it. Okay, one hour remaining. No trade offers. Let's see. Do We, ha we should have one more. Yep. Yeah. Let's quickly check here. Um, D-man, D-man, D-man. I'm just trying to think of a defenseman that off my the top of my head we could possibly go get. <laughs> Robida. They want Robida, but he's a retiring guy. I don't really want a retiring defenseman. I want a younger second, third pairing D-man that can possibly take over uh, Chara. Let's just check out Gardener. Um, we're gonna have to give up something good for him. But I don't know how good we're gonna have to give something. Ugh. As in how much or whatever it is that they really want. So we're giving up a Ford. We might need a Ford. No, we got Brad Marchand. We could possibly do that straight up, but I don't think that will get it done here. As you can see, the trade values in our favor as term in terms of what we're getting. So we're gonna have to go ahead and throw in a pick. Let's go ahead, first round pick. I believe that's got to get it done. I believe it. That would give us a lineup of. Sagan, Krejci, St. Louis, Lucic, Bergeron, and a Brad Marchand, or Rich Peverly, or Mark Savard. So, ooh, let's try and ship them off. Ship them Savard for a player like, where is he? Where? Is his trade value that high? Oh, wow, it is. Nikolai Kuhlman. Or however you say his name, I've just butchered it, I know. Uh, season stats, 8 points in three, 61 games. Yeah, no thank you. Uh, let's see here. Nazem Kadri. 
I would love to get Kadri. Let's just try that here. The Toronto Maple Leafs have a great thing on the trade block. Oh. We got one last one last chance to get Gardner here. He's only a guy I can think of to replace. Ooh, actually, I just had a great idea here. Defenseman. Boom, Eric Johnson. Let's give um we're gonna have to give him Lucic for that. Their trade values are pretty damn even. Eighty five overall. Yeah, I think let's just see if we can do a D man give up a D man for a forward to just help our team out. Maybe a Cal O'Reilly? Oh no. PA Parental, but I don't like his contract there. Uh -huh. Hmm, this is actually kind of hard. Trying to get a good player for a bargain contract, but. Let's just get Milan Hayduk. And then we'll give up a D man in. One of our. There we go. Then we'll go like this. Give him a third and a third next year. I really, really hope this goes through. I mean, the Hayduk and Matal trade value are pretty much even. And then Lucic and Johnson, that looks about pretty even to me. I'm not gonna risk it. Let's just give them something else that they want. Something of no value to us, really. And that, Chris Hansen, yeah. No! Oh, they can't accept it, but I guess this is going to have to be a pick. I'm not going to add in a per first rounder just to get it done. Let's go a third that year. So three years for thirds. And Matau and Lucic for Eric Johnson and Milan Hayduk. So basically it's Milan Lucic and Eric Johnson. Oh, I think that might be a little too much for us. Here we go. No, no, no. Ah, oh, I should have. Ah, oh, ha, ha. I, damn, I actually thought that would be a deal closer there. So let's just quickly check out our standings here. We are six. This video is already getting a little long. I just want to simulate up until the playoffs here. Come on. Hopefully this will be... A quick simulation I don't want to keep this video too too long a couple of my videos have been around this 18 minute mark here but hopefully this will just be just barely in the 20 minutes come on Duka Rask we really need you to play your heart out for this team here let's go Florida Florida's got nothing I don't think ooh they're 39 21 all right hard bad oh come up come on here I need Sagan, Lucic, Bergeron, and all of them to step it up here. I really need them to pick up their game and get us in that playoffs there. I don't care what seed it is, preferably a higher seed for home ice. God damn, if Tuka loses one more, I'm putting Turco in. I gotta do it. I can't just give that team a little spark to put. If we put Turco in, come on, 39 win. Oh, no, 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 no. Tuka, Tuka, Tuka. Come on, buddy. Why do I do that? Why is like an awkward silence? I often do that stupid little noise that I just did. So let's go get Turco two games here, and he wins. There we go. Can we go on a little streak? Scouting assignment. Let's go. Defenseman. Uh. Let's see, I think it's going to be a WHL that there's. Yeah, WHL. They've got Polak and Morrissey here. I don't know why, but in the video games a lot, they have WHL that uh, put out a bunch of studs when it's like the OHL who've been putting out guys like Yakupov, Galchenyuk, and stuff like that. 
Uh, let's just give Turkle the finish off this week since it's a back to back. Come on, Turco. Just give us that 40th win for the season. And we know your job's done. There we go, Turco. You know what? I call you out for what? Ow! Oh, and he gets a shutout. Come on, Turco. Just gonna keep riding the hot goalie here. Come on. Ottawa, it's a good divisional game here. But we gotta, we gotta pull out on top here. We've gotta get this one. Oh, ho, ho. Alright, it's okay, Turco. Don't worry about it. We know you're not a starting goalie, so we'll just throw you back on the bench and bring in Tuca just to finish out this uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, this uh, regular season here. Come on, Tuca, Tuca. Oh, really? You let seven goals in against Columbus? This is not looking good. And then eight against Pittsburgh. Oh, my Lanta. Here we go. I gotta stop this simulation here. I really gotta check something out. How far are we from this? No! We're two points back. Come on now. Come on, we cannot miss the playoffs. That 30 losses is unacceptable. There we go. Did that put us up? Nope, we're still there. Ah! Oh, this is gonna be a nail biter. Come on. We gotta go three and. Oh. There we go. Let's simulate onto the day of the last game for us. We gotta yes yes we're holding that 8 seed right now we have to win we have to there's no ifs ands or buts we need this win otherwise our season is over let's just go ahead get this first period done there you go Tyler say again here we go Swiss penalty kill oh no not Palmerville Whoa, 3-3 three, three now. All right, here we go. Let's go times eight. There we go. Dennis Seidenberg, a guy who's thinking about trading, says, screw you, and John Blum. Here we go. We win. Chara puts in the empty net to seal the victory. Come on. Please tell us we made the playoffs. Please, please, please. Come on. Did we... Please pop up saying that yes yes we made the playoffs I believe in the eighth seed here but this video is getting a little too long anyways I'm just gonna quickly check out our uh, season stats for our players then I'll cut this video off and round one will be up within a week I hope here we go Ooh, that's not very good 69 68 and 67 and 60 are top four guys for points we don't have a 30 goal score we have two 25s and only oh and a 26 there and we have 520 goal scores that's not too too good for us we really need to have better better performance out of our top guys All right, John Blum did pretty good for us, so he's gonna be a good pickup for us. And before I forget, gonna turn on. Should I turn on injuries? Actually, I'll leave that up to you guys. Comment down below if I should turn on injuries for the playoffs and playoffs only. I do not like having injuries on during the season. It just causes too much disruption. Yeah, I cannot talk. I apologize causes too much time to be wasted fixing up lines and whatnot signing free agents just to fill a temporary hole with injuries so comment down below about that and hope you guys are having a great time watching puck as in hockey keep on and playing hockey wow that was gay and cheesy just uh forget the last 30 seconds here have a good one guys peace